It is the year 2000. HTML is rendered on the web via server-side scripting languages like PHP and ASP. This pattern is called SSR, server-side rendering. 2006, Ajax was introduced, which allowed developers to use JavaScript to fetch data and make dynamic requests to server without reloading a new page. This was the birth of single page applications. Because of this, JavaScript libraries and frameworks were created to build the view layer of MVC. Fast forward to 2013, React.js was open sourced. And the next thing we know is that React.js being the most popular JavaScript library in the universe. But React.js comes with a drawback. It is a pure client side rendering library. Hey, but wait, why being a pure CSR library is a drawback? Well, keep watching. To overcome the drawbacks of pure CSR library like React, developers started to explore new ways to render the HTML on the web. And as a result, today we have all these different rendering patterns. Server side and client side rendering are two extreme ends of the spectrum. Server side is exceptionally good for SEO but at the same time is exceptionally bad for interactivity. On the other hand, CSR, client side rendering is very bad for SEO, but very good for user interactivity. So in order to get the best of both worlds, SSR's SEO and CSR's interactivity, developers started experimenting with new rendering methods. All the new rendering patterns under the hood uses different combinations of server and client side rendering so that developers can utilize the goods from both these patterns. Server-side rendering is one of the oldest rendering methods. It generates the complete HTML in response to the user request, which avoids too many back and forth trips between the server and the client. Everything, every single thing is handled before browser gets a response. Client-side rendering means rendering pages directly on the browser using JavaScript. Rendering, logic, data fetching, templating, and routing. Every single thing is handled on the client. Client-side rendering also allows to build single-page applications, which mimics a desktop app. Static rendering is one of the rendering patterns which adapts the good parts of both SSR and CSR and combines them into one pattern so that we get a good SEO but also a good user interactivity. Static rendering delivers pre-rendered HTML content to the client that was generated when the site was built. The island architecture have been in the limelight for the last few weeks because of Dino's fresh framework. The island architecture allows server-side rendering to do what it is best at and client-side rendering to do what it is best at. This architecture is focused on small chunks of interactivity along with server rendered web pages. Island architecture handles the interactive part of the application separately and all other components will be rendered as static HTML. The independent interactive scripts allow the rest of the page to be just static HTML. You can think of this as static HTML document that contains multiple smaller applications. So that's it for this video. If you want to read more about web rendering patterns, then there is a link of a detailed blog post in the description. So make sure to check that out. Thank you.